Hello, it's me again. Today I'm going to explain one of the uh, number 8 questions from 2001 Japanese Mathematics Olympiad uh, first round. So this question, it seems quite hard but I was lucky enough to solve so I would like to in introduce this to you guys. So question is pretty simple. So find a real number x that fits to these equations. So the equations are x to the power of 5 plus 2x to the power of 4 minus x cubed minus 5x squared minus 10x plus 5 equals 0. That's the first one. And then the second one is x to the power of 6 plus 4x to the power of 5 plus 3x to the power of 4 minus 6x cubed minus 20x squared minus 15x plus 5 equals 0. So it's pretty long and it's pretty complicated. And what I first tried to do is, I don't know, it's, it, it has equal zero for both of them, so maybe, you know, subtract them and then like try, try to factorize them, all those kind of things, but it didn't work, of course. It's not that simple, it's number eight question, so it doesn't go that straightforward. Lee. Okay, but, so what I was, you know, lucky enough to, uh, do is that you divide the second equation with the first one so but you'll get to know why I did that so pretty simple okay let's just copy this thingy and you just simply divide that Okay, this may be some bit, a bit of Japanese way to write uh, division, I don't know. I've seen my friends who do it in a different way. Maybe that may cause you a little bit of confusion, but simply you divide this by this. Okay, so x to the power of 5, what would make it x to the power of 6 is u times it by x here. So x to the power of 6 plus 2 x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 4 minus 5 x cubed minus 10 x squared plus 5 x. Is it plus 5 x? Yeah. Okay, plus 5 x. So what I did is that you multiply this by that so that you get, get rid of this x to the power of 6 and then you just Sim simply subtract everything from here. So, to the power of 5 will be left. Uh, plus 4x to the power of 4, minus x cubed, uh, minus 10x squared, minus 20x, and then you just simply put it down here, uh, plus 5. So now another round, you just simply multiply it by 2, so plus 2. 2x to the power of 5 plus 2x to the power of 4 no 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 actually 4 sorry 4x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed minus 10x squared minus 20x plus 10 so you can see now it's getting way better so these eliminate these eliminate what will be left here is x cubed, eliminate, uh, eliminate, and this will leave minus 5. So what this means is that if I put just simply this formula, forget about 0, if I simply put this as, okay, let's say px, this function is px, and this function is qx. So if, to simplify that, what I did, what like division that I just did means is that uh, px times x plus 2 plus what will be left here is x to uh, x cubed minus 5 equals qx. Right. So to make this equation, you just simply multiply this by this and add what will be left, like the leftovers, right? So then what does this do? 
So, but when you think of it, what we're trying to do right now is to find an x that would fit for those uh, equation at the same time. So if I just simply put, for example, 1 and then hopefully it will make 0 for this end and 0 for that. So what this means is that uh, okay, if you find an x that will make this and this 0, uh, this will be 0 and then entire this part must be 0 because px is 0. Then what this means is that x cubed minus 5 should be also 0 when I put an, a number that would make qx and px 0. Okay, then 1 is one of the uh, possibility that uh, x cubed minus 5 would make a 0, and then that's simply uh, 5 to the cube root. Is it the right word? I, I don't know. Okay, this must be, I mean, as this makes this 0, it will be lovely, and like hopefully, uh, x to I mean five to the cube root make qx zero and px zero. So let's check that out if this is the right answer. So okay, let's start from this one. Uh, what is it? Um, Twenty-five to the cube root times uh, five plus 2 times 5 times 1 of the cube root and minus just 5 minus uh, 5 times cube root of 25 minus 10 cube root of 5 plus 5 does it make it 0? ok let's check it out ok uh, so 10 eliminates each other, uh, this 5 eliminates each other, and it eliminates each other. Thank God it's 0, right? Okay, now let's check it for the longer one. So, 20, so like 25 squared, okay, let's just leave it like that. Uh, 4 times 5 times cube root of 25, and minus Oh yeah, I forgot about the to the power of four. Three times three times five times uh, cube root of five minus uh, just simply six five times. Okay, six five times. Okay, and twenty times cube root of twenty five. Not that right. Twenty five uh, minus fifteen times cube root of 5 plus 5. Okay, does it make it 0? Okay, uh, what should I eliminate first? So this one cancel each other out. Uh, this one also cancel each other out. And uh, what I'm writing here, it's 25, sorry. So 25 plus 5, 30, and then of course 6 times 5 is 30, so thank god it makes it 0. Now, uh, uh, this means that uh, cube root of 5 is uh, find a real number x that fits to these equations, so the answer is cube root of 5. So this is uh, question 8 amongst 12 questions, so it's one of the uh, questions that the committee uh, cons like considers it as like one of the I don't know, harder question amongst the twelve, but uh, with a little bit of thought and a bit of luck, you know, this uh, it took me some time to come up with this. So with a bit of luck, I hope you could have solved it. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and hopefully. If I'm not busy, uh, see you guys next time. Thank you.